it's always a pleasure to talk and uh, do kind of this kind of awareness uh, programs so that the uh, people should understand uh, the uh, the what's going on in the in the field of oncology especially there are so many myths about uh, the cancer treatments people uh, do not come for the treatment just thinking that the treatment is so difficult to take it and so difficult so many problems that they are going to go through uh, typically they would say rather i would die rather than i go for the treatment so, so such unfortunate uh, situation some of the patients are so biased about the cancer treatment of late you should understand that there have been phenomenal uh, changes uh, advances in the field of oncology uh, you name surgery you got robotic surgeries minimal invasive surgeries then as far as the medical oncology is concerned you got uh, uh, chemo, apart from chemotherapy you got targeted therapy immunotherapy uh, which uh, actually target the cancer cells and not the normal cells so you always invariably have less side effects and then coming to the radiation treatment which was earlier in the past uh, uh, used to be a burning and charring and skin burns and patients is to discontinue the treatment in the past uh, with the computer technology coming uh, having so much uh, phenomenal uh, developments in the computer technology and so and so forth the uh, the radiation equipment which is mainly computerized and uh, uh, controlled by the computer technology and the software and hardware so we are able, able to uh, advance this, a lot of advances in the radiation delivery system and uh, hence nowadays uh, the radiation treatment has become much easier for the patients to uh, uh, go through the entire treatment process now as we know the advances that apollo has always been in the forefront to get the best of the best technologies that are available in the world uh, as we are advancing and getting the best technology to get to get the patients our patients uh, the best of the best treatments at their doorsteps whatever is available in the western world or european world in fact very few centers in the european and western world have this kind of an advanced technology where our chairman would get it to uh, in india to all the major centers in apollo group coming to hyderabad uh, we have the latest gadgets which we are all really proud of uh, is true beam uh, stx with velocity it's a new radiation technology wherein the radiation so for the radiation oncologist what is important for us is that we want to deliver certain amount of radiation to the target so that we will achieve a cure in that particular patient so there are so many hurdles to deliver such high doses to the target without hurting the normal structures in the vicinity of the tumor so the advances in the technology in the true beam that what we have we are so assured of delivering the desired dose that we would like to deliver to the target is possible and feasible with this new technology there are great advantages having this technology at hyderabad apollo and we are so happy that we will be able to deliver the desired dose what we would like to to the target and we will be able to achieve higher cure rates with this technology number 2 is the the dose rate normally when a patient is lying down on the couch for to deliver a certain amount of dose it takes around 5 to 7 minutes with this new uh, true beam stx with velocity we are because of the very high dose rate within a few seconds we will be able to deliver the desired dose to the target by the time the patient realizes the treatment is done and he will get up and walk out without knowing that the treatment is done it's fairly very 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 simple he will not even feel he will not even know that the treatment is done it so happens most of the time when the patient is lying down on the couch he becomes restless when the treatment is going on it might even take 5 to 6 minutes so that problem is also solved with this new technology called true beam stx with velocity less than a minute you are completing the radiation treatment. added to that we used to normally uh, fix the patient in some kind of immobilization device on the face on the chest or in the on the abdomen so with this new technology the image guidance of this true beam stx is so good that the the precision of 
the beam which is entering the patient is 0.1 to 0.3 millimeter accuracy. So we are so sure that the treatment is delivered where we want to deliver and then the immobilization of the patient is not truly really required because of the machine has got a CT scanner and an X-ray machine which verifies the patient position, verifies the target whether it is in position or not, if there is any movement in the target, if there is any uh, discrepancy in the movement of the patient versus the movement of the target, all those things are nullified with this new technology because it is superimposed by a CT scanner and an X-ray machine. They make doubly sure, 100% sure that the target is in place and the beam is entering the target. So with that kind of a technology, we are able to minimize the treatment time as well. For example, earlier we used to go for radiation treatment for a period of five to six weeks to eight, even eight weeks. With so much of assurance with this new technology, we are able to deliver the entire dose of radiation in one to three days as well. So that kind of a technology, that kind of a confidence, that kind of a precision is available with this new technology. So that helps immensely the treating physician, treating radiation oncologist, and we are able to deliver such kind of doses in no time with high precision and high velocity.